so today i'm going to give you a very easy explanation to why the convex lenses are converging and why the concave lenses are diverging and i will make a separate video for you to how to make uh, the concave and convex lenses so before starting you must always remember that the normal the normal that is the perpendicular line to the surface which is drawn from the point of incidence it always passes through the center of curvature right so here i have drawn two lenses concave and convex and their center of curvatures which we call them 2f are over here right so this is 2f and this is 2f this is concave lens and this is uh, convex lens now let us try to draw the ray diagram for the concave lens first so i am going to take a parallel ray a ray which is parallel to the principal axis and i would like to bring this half inside the lens like this so this is almost half inside the lens now this incident ray is uh, parallel to the principal axis and if we prove that it is going in this way then it becomes a diverging lens now if you look carefully the ray this ray is hitting the surface over here actually i should not draw this you may neglect this part so the ray is just touching the surface and now at this point i have to draw the normal and the normal passes through c or the 2f so this is my normal now instead of going straight it will bend towards the normal because this is glass correct people so this ray instead of going straight in this way it has to bend towards normal and this is the normal so it would bend towards normal like this so due to the refraction the this is air this is glass so the ray would bend towards normal now this is the point of incidence now for this surface this is c that is 2f so i need to pass the normal from there so now this is my normal now instead of going straight people it should go in this direction but due to, due to refraction this ray would bend away from the normal and away from the normal would be something like this correct let me do it again at the bottom so that you have a clear picture of what we are doing this is a ray which is parallel to the principal axis now for this surface this is the point of incidence and this is the center of curvature so the normal should pass through the center of curvature like this so if i extend i will get 2f now instead of going straight because there is a change in the medium it will bend towards the normal so instead of going straight it will bend towards normal so like this see this is normal it is bending towards normal now again this is the point of incidence for this surface this is the normal this is 2f so the normal would always pass through 2f just check, check if i extend i will get 2f now instead of going straight it will bend away from the normal so this is away from the normal see by yourself so that means parallel rays after passing through the lens they are diverging so that's why we call this lens as diverging now let's try to do the same for the convex lens so this is the ray which is parallel to the principal axis now for this surface this is the center because if you finish the circle this is center of curvature so the normal would always pass through the center of curvature so if i extend this the normal will pass through c now instead of going straight it will bend it towards normal because the ray is going from air to glass so it is bending towards normal see now from this point for this surface this is the center so normal always passes through c like this one 
now the ray instead of going straight will bend away from the normal so away from the normal is this correct in the same way if i draw another ray from the bottom this is the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis so for this surface here is c so the normal passes through c and instead of going straight it will bend away from the normal sorry it will bend towards normal like this one for this surface this is the c like this one so the normal would pass from c now instead of going straight it will bend away from the normal like this one so as you can check by yourself the parallel rays they are actually meeting at this point and that's why we call this lens as converging converging lens now people the most interesting thing that how do we say which point is focus so where the parallel rays meet that point is called focus now here the parallel rays are not meeting so if we extend them backwards like this this point is said to be the focus right so when the parallel rays meet that is called focus and when parallel rays are not meeting if we extend them backwards we get the focus anyhow the location of focus is not very perfectly shown because <clears throat> i have made the lens quite thick but hopefully guys my purpose was just to explain you why the lenses are converging and diverging so the most important part is to draw the normal so if you are able to draw the normal for each and every incident ray you are done so hopefully guys you have enjoyed the explanation please do subscribe to my channel if you are not done so and thank you for watching the video please share my channel like my videos and do subscribe also thank you for watching the video